the police are working, doing the best they can, but the traffic now is backed up to the toll plaza, I'm sure beyond at this point, and people waiting, just trying to get through and get a, get back to their day. Yeah, now uh, back to the original pair of bolt cutters. Let's see if those can do the job. Um, looks like the protesters brought a heavy gauge chain for the job. And we actually have somebody who is stuck in traffic. Uh, Ahmad Sultan, you're on the phone with us. Hello? Hello, yes. Hi, Ahmad. Thank you so much for joining us. So where are you on the bridge? We're after the tolls on the Bay Bridge. Okay. How long have you been stuck there? Say almost 40 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Now, did you even know what was going on? Uh, no, I just recently checked Twitter to see maybe there's something up, like just traffic reports, and I saw all this, like, like uh, I guess, news about Black Lives Matter on the bridge, and what are, people are doing is they're chaining themselves on the bridge and basically just holding up traffic. Yeah, in fact, as we're talking to you, we're watching uh, police, I guess, detain, if you will, on the bridge, one of the drivers of the vehicles who stopped and backed up all this traffic. What do you think? What's your reaction, knowing, knowing what is holding you up at this point? Has it been keeping you stuck on the bridge for 40 minutes now? I mean, but I understand. it's frustrating, but I understand, like, what, uh, this Joe. has to get acro through across most people and more people, but I understand their message. So you, you have, despite the inconvenience to you personally, you're sympathetic? Yes. Are you still in your car? Did you get out? Have you... uh, no, I'm still in my car, but there's a lot of people like videotaping on Snapchat and just stretching. So Ahmad, you're at the toll plaza. If you look behind you, how, how far does that line stretch? Can you even see the cars backed up behind you, the uh, end of the cars behind you? Is it pretty bad? Far, far as I can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, wow. Where were you on your, where were you going? Uh, we were just going to go eat some very good steak at Harris Ranch, but now I guess we can't eat steak anymore. Well, you're just maybe a little later than you We're intended. from yeah. Jersey, too. Oh. We're just here visiting. You'll be good. Put it this way, Ahmad. You'll be very hungry when you get there. <laughs> yes, and we're actually looking at the toll plaza right now with the cars just backed up. Do other people appear angry, frustrated at this point? Can you tell at all? Yeah, some people are, like, agitated and just honking, honking their horns. But now I just saw a couple of tow trucks actually just pass by. So I think they're going to start towing the cars. Yeah, because they've been trying to, they've been breaking the chains. Now we see a woman now being cutters. detained, mm -hmm. by the way. She has, uh, this person has, uh, Ahmad, thanks very much. Hang with us for a moment. We'll continue, but thank you, Ahmad. Uh, this woman is moment. being... Uh, uh, detained handcuffs or flex cuffs being placed on her her arms are behind her back two officers there yeah she didn't appear to be one of the drivers I noticed her earlier as just one Somebody of the people kind of, of, the van kind of milling around yeah in the street so I don't believe she was one of the, in one of those front cars but they did take out one of the drivers of or those she cars. may have been in one of these vans though, exactly that, yeah, may have been exactly a part of the, um, Anyway, but they're it's working on breaking those, you know, using the bolt cutters, breaking mm -hmm. up those. And there's another person with their arms uh, cuffed behind them. Uh, and again, everything is peaceful. This uh, this person is walking back unescorted with her. There we go. Now the police have their hands on him or yeah. her. Yeah, and we're taking a look at all the backup and the mod on the phone with us as he's been sitting there for 40 minutes. But understands and is sympathetic to the cause. Yeah, now I see the protesters there being placed uh, with their hands behind their backs, uh, just sitting on the sidewalk or sitting on the pavement, I should say. Um, this is very civil and very, you know, not very tense. Everybody, the protesters are just doing what they came to do, make a point and cooperating, it looks like, with police in terms of at least not resisting. And police look like they're being pretty mellow about the whole thing as well. The only people probably not quite as mellow are some of the drivers back there uh, stuck and agitated uh, because they can't get where get yeah. where they were going. And now our Sky 7 HD, our live look here, is showing us a little more of that backup as it stretches now into the East Bay to the Toll Plaza and beyond. Uh, you can't see it now, but we have a traffic camera showing the Skyway in San Francisco, and none of that traffic is going through, which is such a strange sight. And look at all the cars now just 
backed up. Yep, Toll Plaza and, and beyond. beyond. Yeah. And so Ahmad uh, Sultan, who was on the phone with us a few minutes ago, was right back there where the Toll Plaza is. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where he's been stuck for about, I think he said about 45 minutes, Diniyama. Yeah, yeah, about 45 minutes now, and it's it's too bad. All those people who aren't going to know what's going on and just getting on into the Toll Plaza, and they're just going to get stuck not going anywhere at mm -hmm. this point and as we've been seeing for the past if you're just tuning in it's, since we started at four o'clock we've been watching this traffic back up on the bay bridge after these protesters made their way to the front there you can see this is on the the eastern span where they drove out to the front they had chains connecting the cars not letting any cars by but uh police are actively trying to break those chains using bolt cutters and getting people moving again. Yeah, and despite the, uh, uh, the thousands of cars now probably backed up, uh, imagine if this was a normal day, not a holiday, as it is this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Uh, there'd be far more cars impacted by this. Traffic going the other direction, uh, not impacted significantly at all, really, although it's a bit slow getting onto the Bay Bridge the other direction now. Um, but... Uh, as we you know hit the commute time even though it's a holiday there it is there we go yeah, the skyway. so the skyway is kind of slow those cars coming at you with the headlights are trying to uh, get onto the bay bridge there is no protest on that side of the span right. but things could just be uh, slow because uh, of normal traffic and and who looky knows it, yeah look you lose everything impacts on. traffic around here but if you looked at the other side uh, oh, clear sailing maybe a couple dozen cars on that side of the road yeah and apparently this is uh, the culmination of uh, 96 hours hours of this protest and this point that they are making uh, oh, excuse me a lot of people are on Twitter obviously I've been checking Twitter and tweeting out images for people so they can see what's going on you can see the protesters are tweeting this says prioritizing justice on this day you can see there and they're using the hashtag 96 hours that's kind of how they're branding this and also reclaim MLK as you say as you can see and this is uh uh, a civil act of civil disobedience, which is what Dr. King urged his followers and sympathizers to do in order to affect a civil rights change in the United States. Yeah, this Twitter user says police have given dispersal order. Are